بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب زدني علما Okay, now in this video, we'll try to understand some information about the DNA appliance, DNA center appliance. Now, Cisco DNA uh, center appliance available as a physical appliance. Now, physical appliance in the sense it is like a box, same like your router or a switch, a physical chassis, which can be inserted inside the rack. And, and this particular device already have a preloaded image that is like a software which is installed so that you can log in and you can manage the devices okay so when you buy a D dns center probably you will get this appliance in the form of box and also it has the software preloaded inside the box now when you are deploying this dns center you can deploy this either in the standalone mode or in the cluster mode now the difference is like the standalone mode means it is more like a single host. A single host, just you have one DNA, DNA center appliance and that is doing all the functions of the DNA center. And this is more like, more, more preferable, especially when you are using for testing, for initial testing kind of scenarios. Or if you're using some kind of small environments, probably this is something recommended. It means you can use it. But then if you're using as a single host, then also there is a single point of failure. So that's the reason in the production scenarios, mostly you go with something called cluster mode. And the cluster mode, we can have maximum of three DNA centers. So three DNA centers sharing the services, sharing the data among the three hosts. And this is going to provide you something called high availability so that if any of the DNA center fails, you still have some kind of backup so it's, it's like always available and also provide you some kind of better performance so in terms of performance also it will increase the performance on your network as well so again as i said when you buy the dns center you'll get a physical appliance box now probably there are three different models you can choose from depending upon the requirement like simply how large your network is that is one one form factor you will you will go with while you are deciding which DNA center appliance is going to suit suit my requirements. And probably how large your network is again the number of devices uh, probably you you want to manage. So these are the form factors in deciding. Now as I said there are three models. So the first model is more like an entry level model, uh, which is now probably this DNA center appliance run on Cisco UCS servers. M5 series, that is your second generation runs on M5 series. So probably there are some M4 series also, the first generation. Uh, in terms of size, the performance, specifications, they both are same. So, so it can be uh, coming in M4 or M5. Uh, probably the newer ones, the second generation comes in M5 series. Cisco use your servers. The processing capabilities, you can see uh, cores will be different. So this is more applicable for small size or entry-level organizations and this is more applicable for mid-size and this is for the large organizations now depending upon the number of devices the capability as i said so the entry level is going to you can manage something around 1000 devices with somewhere around 4000 access points and 20,000 clients and again this number will increase in the in the other models so which appliance you are going to select it totally depends upon your network size and the number of devices you are going to manage.